Hey guys, welcome back to Tick Channel and my name is Cybrot and today we're going to be taking a look at this special thing which is for oh sorry it's only for react developer those are react js developer so today we're gonna be talking about this top five animation libraries for react js yeah as usual to make your work easy because damn i'm lazy so why not try and uh make it easy since uh instead of us just going to our css and write our animations on from scratch that's it so why not uh check out this libraries which is cool for react js oh by the way before we begin and proceed to anything i would like you to smash that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed before and also turn up the notification bell so everything will be ringing yeah you'll be notified when we bring out these tips for you yeah and also maybe you're interested in gaming so we bring videos on gaming for you so now we're done with that let's go there ah, our fifth uh for today is react spring which is the awesome site yeah it's awesome i love this site let's reload it yeah get started and uh, it has a lot of things uh, to help react like the oops api you can learn the basic common api the use springs the use springs and use trail use translation use chain example and a lot uh, and very easy to use and we can even check out the demos of what uh, we can use these to do so let's check this uh, demo see wow with this it's awesome see we can have this awesome animation wow see animation in our site and also react you can see the code from here yes this is going great and uh, can use the props this map to add the location and everything so let's go back to the site and yeah we can see the introduction they said React Springs is a spring physics based animation library that should cover most of your UI related animation needs. Hmm, call our UI related animation needs, which is great because I'm lazy to write those from scratch. So, why not come to this and use this awesome library, which is React Spring, and make this spring physics? base animation <laughs> sounds great so the installation is simple just as you install your react you just use your npm install react spring then boom you do that and yeah then you'll be able to use some of these of some let's check out the basics yeah uh the basics they have five hooks in react spring currently so use spring a single spring move data from a to b Use springs, multiple spring for list where each spring moves data from A to B. Wow, we have a lot. Even use transition for a um, month for mount and on mount transition list where item are added, remove, update. I use chain a lot, lot, lot. And the way you can use them is here. Yeah, the easiest is use spring, as you can see. You can import in use spring after you've installed it. Use spring and animate from react spring which is function our uh, function app then cause props use springs opacity one and from opacity zero that means it will come from opposite zero to one that means it looks like it's fading which is great yeah you can learn this and try to use it in your react project so if you want us to do like a tutorial on how to use this react spring um you can comment below so we can yeah do a little tutorial for you and we're gonna do a project on us using that so now that we've seen a lot a lot a lot see this animation that means we can use svg with this wow nothing can stop us uh yuppie a lot of effects wow it's great so yeah i want to make this video short and yeah making sense so if you want to go to this site and you can learn their thing like the basic the common api and you can learn all the springs uh the use springs uh, their hooks you can learn it and you can also 
check their render props API. So uh, that is all for now. So if you want us to focus on this, you can comment down below. So let's move to our second, which is the fourth uh, top library for animation. So Yepi uh, React Motion. Yeah, React Motion, I love it because it's easy to use and yeah, it's easy to learn. It's easy, just as the rest, you can you install it with npm install save react motion yeah which is great you can use your dependency you can use your react motion yeah then you can include include this as script yeah it's great they have a lot of demos too so let's check out a little demo like this simple transition mm -hmm. oh toggle you can click toggle and this move from here to here, which is cool. So React Motion. So you can read these and uh, check out some of your demos. You can check it, try the demos locally. So you can even clone it and check it and install it. So they were like, why does this library try to serve? What, what does it? Yeah. What does this travel, uh, library try to serve? Let's check it. F my React Aero Suck for 95% of use case of animating component, we don't have to restore to use add coded AC curves and duration. Set up a stiffness and damping for your UI element and let the magic of physics take care of the rest. Wow, magic of physics. Hmm. Now I'm sounding like a magician. Uh, who cares? I'm just a React developer. Uh, yeah, so we can go add the link to this site. It will be put down so you can check and learn if this is the one you like. So let's check the uh, the thought for this, which is React Anime. <laughs> it reminds me of my, uh, I want to watch anime. Yeah, yeah, everybody watch anime except Maybe you that you're watching. Are you? No? You just focus on this. So this React anime is awesome. If we reload the site, you check, you see the effect. Wow. See this? Which is cool. You can install it like npm install, which is i react uh, anime uh, dash s. React anime is super easy a library, animation library for React build on top of AnimeJS. Wow, AnimeJS, I've used that before. Yeah, so we have the React version of that. Hmm, that's great. Let's check out the features. The features are animate nearly all CSS, SVG, and DOM attribute by adding a props with their name, e.g. opacity, background color, translate as, wow, this great. Nested animation, are as easy as putting an anim component inside order. Hmm. Very easy. Animation can react to change in state. Wow. Which is great because we use state in React, right? Yeah, we do. Cascading animation through delay. Hmm. Delay prop. Wow, great. Easy, easily make mountain and a mountain animation. Hmm. What am I seeing? TypeScript slash flow definition included. Rah, that's great. So uh, we don't want to spend too much time on this. So let's check out this React Anime. Oh, React Motion. React Motion removed the idea of time for you. You are only working with an interpolation function like import React from React, import motion slash spring, uh, comma spring. From React Motion. Hmm. Are they telling us React Motion? Hmm. I don't think so. Yeah, I think so. They're telling us React Motion. So React Anime is here. You can import Anime from React Anime, and yeah, which is great. So let's skip that and go to the second of today, which is uh, production ready, which is Frima Motion. Sounds great. 
So the site is even awesome because they are even showing us some of the things we can do with this, like this. This, oh, great. Production ready declarative animations. A simple declarative syntax means you write less code. Less code means your code base is easier. Mm. Easier to read and maintain, which is great because uh, we don't want to write a code that when we see the code in the next two years, we'll be like, oh, only God knows what to write. <laughs> so we don't want that. So we can see some, which even give us some, uh, we can tweak the parameter to animate this, which is great. The X, okay, it moves. The Y, wow, and the scale, yippee, and the rotation. Note, as we're doing all this, it's changing its year, which is animate of oh, Y11, Y5, X11, scale 0 0.8, rotation is 135 degree, which is great. Animations that works like magic. When animating between two separate components, framer animation will take care of everything in between. Wow, great. Look at this. Tap the card. Tap to open the card. Wow, great. This is great. This is great. Like, count select ID and set select ID. You state, hmm, there is everything. Hmm, this is really great. Complex events and gestures. Frame, framer motion offer more advanced listening and also extend the basic of set of. React event listener. Wow. That means we can use the on drag. Wow. Great. So if you want us to uh, like make a project using this framer motion and React, you can comment down below so we can use that and check out these awesome gestures, uh, variants, and mission, drag. Yeah, drag, scroll as we scroll, zoom in and scale out. And even this. That means SVG. So it's great. Uh, the link to this uh, uh, Frima motion will be in the uh, in the description below. So you can check this and you know learn it as a React developer to make our UI very cool. So let's check the first for today. Yeah, which is mm, React review. Hmm, awesome. React review is hi what is <laughs> email i'm to read finish so let's read it now react is react review is high performance animation which is uh we're just gonna keep on clicking 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 so we can read this maybe we shouldn't read this okay so let's just check the, the documentation which is react review is an animation framework for react hmm so this is a framework, right? Great. It is MIT licensed. Wow. Has a tiny footprint and written specifically for React in ES6. Hmm. Advanced JavaScript, right? It can be used to create various cool review on scroll animations in your application. If you like this package, don't forget to start the uh, GitHub response with. Oh, that's great. So. With this React review, we can add these fading effects. Wow. Zoom effects. Roll effects. Wow. Light speed effects. Let me check it again. Yeah. Flip effects. Rotation effects. Uh, bounce effects. Oh, this is cool. Wow. Can't wait to use this in a project. This is cool for us React developer and those that we are not uh, that are not React developer. I think uh, you better learn React because uh, everybody's learning React, so why not try it out? Even if we just to yeah, if you if you are the one that use Angular, why not try also use React since they are almost similar. Yeah, if you know React, it's easy for you to learn uh, Angular, and if you learn Angular, it's easy for you to learn React. And don't forget about Vue, my favorite. So this is cool. We can check out this awesome transition from React with Vue. Yeah, we can even check out the tutorial. Yeah, if you want to learn 
to check the tutorial you can see you can install this as usual npm install react review that it has saved then start then you put this 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 <laughs> then from that from this we can make this which is great using just uh this zoom making it zoom effect just put your tag zoom and click the zoom and we got this wow that's great but don't forget we have to import the zoom from react review slash zoom yeah which you can see here which is great yeah that's all for today yeah Mm, that's all is enough because uh, too much of it I'll call it cheating well this is not cheating because uh, we are just using libraries and framework here to make our animation more easy due to we are using react.js right yeah it's not bad but uh things you should know is that after you're learning this animation I'll suggest you learn only one or two because Learning everything is not bad, but uh, if you can focus on two and master it, it's better than just learning all without mastering it, which is mm, not good. So, uh, we're done with this video, right? Nope, we're not done. So, just subscribe as usual and turn up the notification button and comment down below if you want us to uh, like make a tutorial on those libraries and framework or we should create an awesome project so we can do using maybe react anime or react springs or maybe we can use our react review too is awesome or maybe react motion so it's not bad so let's just maybe i should tell you bye yeah we're done for today bye